congratulations to you all. Uh, before I proceed any further, let me thank either shipping company for their vested interest in us uh, to make this, uh, to make Winston Hunting School as their land-based training center for which we hope we have rendered our full support and we will continue to, to support you in the other field that is required. We also thank the German government, not be forgotten, but the German government has, 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 uh, has uh, opened this door which uh, eases the employment burden of our third world countries which uh, obviously uh, suffers from a, 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 from a lack of uh, employment and also, also not to mention the, uh, the uh, economic gain. Of course, we, we, every country gains when, uh, when their individuals go out for, for employment. Uh, we owe uh, our gratitude to, to Mr. Mr. Jerry uh, uh, for, for on, uh, and a, round of, we owe a round of applause to Mr. Mr. Jerry for his <laughs> for his unbiased and steadfast professionalism. When I say unbiased, you all know he is. They don't take sides. They have to. They are performing a job here. And they have to do it right because they are being sent here as representatives of Aida, and they cannot. They cannot. Uh, be biased and, and favor anybody, but they have to do their job. We are all here to do our job. So are they. they have to do their job. So, in, in, there must have been situations you must have felt that uh, he, he could have been harsh on you, and that was for a particular reason. And this is why you are here today, because of all that they've gone through. So, uh, mandatory uh, when uh, uh, Discipline and conduct. From here onwards, you'll be facing the world as trained professionals in your line of work, which is a gap. Uh, uh, you uh, short-term pleasures. Like when you're out on your own, it's natural that we get a bit disturbed and because you're seeing a different world. It's normal. We don't come on your own. On, on, on your own. And you are given off on, on, your, on your off days and if you have to go to certain countries. Be careful of short term pleasures because that can cause you to get late, neglect work, be disruptive, there is an order of work, you don't breach that, you, you have to abide by the rules and regulations of Aida. You represent Sri Lanka, may I remind you once again. Uh, uh, your conduct and attitude matters a lot because, because this might hamper the future youth of this country who have great aspirations like you and are looking forward to, be, to, to work in cruise life. Do your best, give your best, it will never go away. Thank you very much. Uh, we now uh, proceed to uh, to uh, award the certificates. Uh, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. We, are, we will now call upon Mr. Robert to uh, to uh, uh, to give us a feedback of the training. Yes. All right. Hello, hello. Good morning. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody? We get to see him. All is good, wonderful. Okay, meaning to say we are good, or I'm good, I'm fine, or wonderful, amazing. So, first of all, guys, congratulations to everybody. Uh, so I can see that you are very excited now. I think yes to go on board. Are you ready to go on board in the first place? Yes. Do you? Yes. yes. I didn't hear you loud and clear. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Very good. Very good. Okay, guys. Uh, I wish that your family are here to witness this uh, special event. But uh, still, you are very lucky and very blessed that you managed to finish the training. Okay. Unfortunately, some of your colleagues not uh, being able to fulfill their dreams uh, for now. Okay. But of course, they still have some opportunities with other companies. So it's not the end of the world for them. 
everybody. Okay, guys, I hope you, you understand that, isn't it? Yes. So, anyways, uh, if you go on board, guys, it's very important to be ready, and I'm pretty sure that my colleagues, Jerry, prepared you with everything with regards of your skills and knowledge, isn't it? Yes. Are you confident now to work over there? Yes. Yes? Okay. Uh, going on board the ship with full of confidence, ready to face the world, to, to, to meet different people, to work with them, to, to, to see the world? Yes. Like I see. Very good then. What is the first thing, top tips that you learned from Sir Jerry? Top tips during your orientation. What did you learn from the beginning? Save your, save your money, isn't it? Uh, you remember that? You remember yes. Thing? You see, you need to save your money, guys. Do not spend your money for unnecessary things. It's important that you save your money during your contract and uh, try to settle everything here in Sri Lanka regarding to your family, your bank, complete your documents of course before joining the ship. You know, you need to settle this thing first before joining the ship. So that when you go on board, you are very ready and you have a peaceful mind. Did you understand that? Okay? It's important to do that first rather than you join the ship, realizing that you still have some uh, missing tasks or uh, you know you forgot to do some few things to settle here in your country. So I guess most of you are still single, right? Yes. Uh, I think you have a plan to find a German girlfriend over there. <laughs> Yes? yes. Well, but first, you need to learn the German language, you see? <laughs> how can you find a girlfriend if you don't know how to speak with their own languages? You know? It's a kind of, uh, of course, learning on your side. It's every day be interested to learn something, okay, over there. Particularly in the kitchen because you are working in the galley. Try to be helpful with your colleagues. Be interested to learn how to, you know, to do the mission class with the chef, preparation of their uh, important uh, ingredients for cooking before uh, the operation start. I think uh, sometimes they will ask for your help if you're not busy. So be interested to learn all of these things. And this is part of growing up, isn't it? Because if you don't, uh, if, if you don't put interest learning other things, then I think uh, you will stuck with one position for the rest of your career in Aida. Do you want to be like that? No. no. So be interested to learn always. What do you want to be in future? Tell me, please. What kind of job do you want to be in future? Don't be afraid, guys. Hmm? Executive chef. Wow. Give him a round of applause. Dream high. Okay? Nothing's wrong with that. If you work hard, you are friendly, you have a good attitude, I think everything will be possible. You will achieve your goal. And you are, you, all of you, you have your own uh, goal in your life, isn't it? Yes. First of all, to help your family, to earn money, and, and eventually you will be successful in your career, right? Yes. And how to do that? You need to work hard, guys. You need to work hard. You know, you need to be honest over there. Be professional over there. Okay? Follow the instruction of your uh, supervisor or GPA or uh, sous chef or executive chef over there. Follow the hygiene and, and uh, standard that we have. It's very important. Okay? You heard that all to Sir Jerry. And you learned this all to him, isn't it? Yes. Now, all of these skills and knowledge that you have, you need to apply over there. It's important. Okay? You will remember Sir Jerry for the rest of your life. 
because he taught you too much. Right? Yes. Why don't you give him a round of applause? Yes. Our objective is for you to be ready for work, full of confidence, having the skills and knowledge. Now that you have this, it's up to you now how to perform over there, guys. Everything is the ice in your hands. With regards of your career or your future in any time. But of course, our wish is for you to have a better and successful career in Aida, guys. So be friendly, follow all the rules, okay? Just like the others over there, your colleagues, you will work with more than 40 different nationalities over there. You need to be ready with that, okay? You need to perform well so that we can hire more Sri Lankan crew. Yes. Did you understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. Do not jump the ship, please. It's very difficult having uh, this kind of decision, believe me, okay? Work hard and you have a better career in, in uh, Edita for sure, guys. We are welcome for promotion and everything, but you need to perform. Show us how good you are. Okay? Alright? So again, congratulations to everybody, and uh, we wish you a successful career in Aida. Thank you very much. I think Mr. Robert has said it all. Thank you. Thank you. I think Mr. Robert has said it all. Remember one thing, we all, as young people, we go to jump ship. We have, we have in our mind, oh, if I get to Germany, if I get to Europe, Italy, maybe I can jump ship. Remember, today it's not easy as you just feel those things. Because of the Al-Qaeda thing and the ISIS problem. Everybody today is being screened. Everybody, if you walk down the streets of any of, Euro of the European countries, they have definitely a, 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 track, a track on you. They know exactly where you are. Congratulations!
is this. This is used like jacket.
Ready? Okay. Yeah. Count of four. Let's do the addition. One, two, three, four.